what is up guys and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my car i have a very crazy week i'm not gonna be home very much so we are just making this work i have had a ton of people ask me if i am still taking ketones what are my current thoughts on them because i haven't made an updated video on them in quite a while so the answer to that question is yes i am still taking them i still love them but when i first got my dogs and became a dog Dog mom started creating videos about my dogs and everybody's loved them so I've kind of went down this little rabbit hole and I didn't realize how long it's been since I have made a video talking about ketones so in today's video I'm going to go over what they are and how you can get started on taking them as well If this is the first time that you're seeing me, hello and welcome to my channel. It has been almost four years since I started taking exogenous ketones. After doing months of research and reading different articles and honestly just debating back and forth if it was really worth trying or not, I finally decided to try it in May 2017. So my four year anniversary is coming up very soon and I am still just as grateful for them now as I was back then. If you have not seen any of the other videos that I have made on ketones I have a whole playlist called my ketone journey that I can link below quick disclaimer before I get into the video I am not an expert I am not a doctor I am not a specialist and it is not meant to diagnose cure treat or prevent any disease as with any supplement please always check with your doctor first before starting I am just a human being who started taking these who very much loves them if you do have any specific questions that you would like asked by these specialists in particular. They do go live on their Facebook page every single Wednesday, so I can leave a link to that in the description as well. First of all, what is an exogenous ketone? What are exogenous ketones? So like I mentioned, they are a supplement that is used to help you achieve ketosis by elevating your blood ketone levels. So typically before, in order to achieve ketosis, you would follow a strict ketogenic diet so that your body would create these ketone bodies naturally within the body. While that works, not every everybody wants to follow a ketogenic diet, not everybody can follow a ketogenic diet, or sometimes people are following it and they just need an extra little bit of help. And this is where the exogenous ketones come in. The exogenous ketones come in a powder form and something that you introduce to your body so that your body is able to create these ketones from an external source to help you achieve similar results. It is a naturally fermented supplement and it is bioidentical and molecular structure to what our bodies can produce naturally so that way when we introduce it into our bodies our bodies are able to say hey okay I remember what this is I know what to do with it. You're able to test and see how well it's working for you if you test it through urine, breath, or blood. It sounds great but why would somebody want to take them? What's the point? What's the purpose. So exogenous ketones help support healthy cell function. It helps to repair DNA. It supports a healthy immune function and it elevates essential amino acids that are essential for optimizing body composition. So in simple terms, it basically helps with your mood, your sleep, your digestion, your focus, fat loss, satiety, energy, etc. For me, the biggest things have been I have irritable bowel syndrome and anxiety, so it's been really helpful in helping me manage my mood and obviously helping with with my digestion. The cravings that this will help you with is very, very helpful. From someone who is very much in love with and loses control sometimes when it comes to sweets, whenever I drink this, my mind doesn't go there. So how do you actually take these exogenous ketones? So like I mentioned, it does come in a powder form and it comes in several different flavors. For example, one of my favorites is this berry blue. You can either have this in a shaker bottle, you can put it in a cup with ice, you can put it in a water bottle. Some people like to put them in sparkling water, some people like to put them in a flavored water bottle, whatever works for you. I personally just always get a bottle of water and once I open it, I take a little sip out of the top just so that way there's some room for the powder. So if I just pour it in right now, it's going to fill the whole thing up and it's going to be very difficult to to shake. 
there is just a little tab at the top where you're able to rip it open. Ideally, you would have one packet a day, mix it in 12 to 16 ounces of cold water, and you would shake it, stir it, whatever you want. You can have it with food, without food, whatever works best for you. So I'm just gonna pour it into this and try not to get it all over myself and in my car. At home, I use a funnel. The berry blue is a newer flavor. I don't know if you've ever had a blue raspberry slushy, but if you have, this is exactly what it tastes like powders in here. I'm just going to shake it up. It is so good. For me, it's really nice because I am really weird about textures and I'm also extremely picky. This does not change the texture of the water. It just changes the flavor. It literally just tastes like a flavored water. Some people will just drink half a packet of ketones a day. Most people just drink one packet a day. That's what I personally do. There are some people who like drinking two or more packets a day. But with that being said, you kind of have to just like judge how much you need because once again everybody's different the exogenous ketones are water soluble so your body will simply just use what it wants and what it needs and whatever it doesn't need it's just going to excrete via sweat breath urine etc so these ketones come in a charged version and an uncharged version caffeine free is the uncharged and the charged is the one that's caffeinated so the caffeine source is caffeine hydrous it's equivalent to about the same caffeine as a 12 to 16 ounce cup of coffee the packets that are colored more colorful like this are the ones that are charged the ones that are more white like this are the ones that are caffeine free if you have a caffeine sensitivity obviously don't go with a caffeine packet but if you're able to drink the caffeine i would suggest doing the caffeine just because it does help with the absorption of the exogenous ketones it either will come in a packet like this or a packet like this so it's the exact same amount in each of the packets it's just different types of packaging that you might see. So that's how you mix it, that's how you make it, how you actually end up taking it and drinking it, making it part of your day. My biggest recommendation is to take it slow. Unless you are someone who has been in ketosis for a long time or your body's used to it, you're already following a ketogenic diet. For most people, if you haven't experienced exogenous ketones, you haven't experienced a ketogenic diet, you haven't been in ketosis before, going from being in ketosis running on ketones for fuel versus using using glucose running on sugar for fuel that is a huge change for your body while this is a superior better energy source for you your body is used to what's over here so if you just dive in and start chugging it and go full force it's probably not going to go that well because you're not giving your body enough time to absorb it adapt digest it etc so my personal recommendation is to start with half of the packet for the first four days so what you would do is you would take a packet and you can measure this out or you can just kind of feel like halfway down where the powder is. Only use half of this packet of powder day one. Still use the 12 to 16 ounces of water. Day two, use the other half of this packet. Half this packet, 12 to 16 ounces of water. Day three, you grab another packet. Half this packet. Day four, the other half of this packet. Again, still using 12 to 16 ounces of water. Don't ever change the amount of water regardless of how much ketones you're using. So at first, these two packets would last you four days. Now, if day five comes, you're feeling great, you haven't really had any issues, no negative side effects, then I would say you're probably safe to move up to a full packet, see how that goes. If for some reason you're having any issues or you're having digestive issues, you're feeling kind of tired, you're feeling kind of nauseous, it just seems to be a little bit too much too fast, then I would either bump down to a third of a packet or I would simply just stay on the half packets if it seems that it's improving for a little bit longer. So another reason why you would want to take it slow is because healthy fats are absorbed very rapidly. Because I'm someone who has digestive issues, I feel like I'm hypersensitive to the fact that I want to do everything I can to avoid that and get a good experience. If you are chugging this and it's rapidly absorbed into your body, it's going to rapidly be metabolized out. You want to avoid any issues like that. Give your body time to adjust to it and actually digest and process it. Now when you're working up to a full packet, you can either just have the full packet at once just like I am doing right now or if you want you can do like half the packet in the morning and half the packet at night. This is a really nice option for the kind of people who are really tired in the morning and also get a crash later in the day. Also really good for people who are crazy busy parents, constantly on the run and need that 
extra push every so often throughout the day or if you work like really long crazy hours or if you're somebody who has trouble getting in your water intake if you're having it in the morning and at night it's forcing you to drink more water because this alone is going to be two bottles of water when you should take it is not just like a straight answer it really just depends on the person if you're a coffee person i would drink it in the morning if you're someone who gets that 3 p.m crash i would drink it then if you're someone who works out you can drink it as a pre-workout so drink it before your workout if you need help with sleeping then drink it before sleep just choose the caffeine free you don't want to be having caffeine obviously right before bedtime i personally have mine at lunch because i don't ever really eat lunch and it's nice to help give me the extra energy boost for the rest of the day as far as food's concerned it doesn't matter when you take it it just depends on when you feel the best how it affects you some people really like to take it on an empty stomach some people like to take it with a meal i personally hate drinking mine with food unless it's just a tiny snack because it is really really great with satiety and i will usually have a very hard time finishing my meal if i try to drink this with whatever it is that i am eating so what do you do if you are somebody who does end up with having digestive issues when you are starting out first of all check and see how fast you are drinking this ideally i would try to take like at least an hour to drink it when you're first starting out or if you want to take even longer i don't care if you sip on this thing for three hours just take it slow if you're already taking it slow and you're still having issues i would use less so if you're on half of a packet i would bump down to a third of a packet if you're on a full packet i would bump back down to a half for a couple of days let your body kind of readjust then go back up also you can try adding in a lipase enzyme or start taking vitamin k2 when it comes to water and ketones hydration is something that is extremely important ideally whenever you are taking exogenous ketones you want to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water so if you weigh 200 pounds you want to drink a hundred ounces of water every single day if you're someone who struggles with their water intake do the half packet in the morning half packet at night so that way that's at least two bottles of water for you bring water with you everywhere you go when you wake up in the the morning drink a bottle of water before you eat drink a bottle of water any way that you can find to get that water intake do it the reason why that water is so important when it comes to ketones is because ketones can act as a bit of a diuretic so it will start to deplete your electrolytes when you're first starting out. This can cause you to have a headache, get cramping, feel tired, feel agitated, basically along the lines of a keto flu. If you struggle with your water intake, I would also suggest adding sea salt into your diet. Start adding it to your foods. You can add in Mitoplex. It's a great option. Comes in a couple of different flavors. You can add it right to your ketones. You can add it to water and drink it separately, or you can just have it straight out of the packet, stick it on your tongue to each their own. I personally would suggest doing the Mitoplex or some form of of an electrolyte supplement when you're first starting out because that'll really help reduce the chances of you getting a keto flu. If you do notice that you have some cramping, add some potassium, add some calcium to your diet, add some spinach and kale in there. For the keto flu that I keep mentioning, the keto flu is just something that can happen when your body is adjusting from running on glucose to ketones. It's just the body's adjustment period. It doesn't last forever, but it can last for a few days up to a week or so. How would you know if you had a keto flu? You would would feel very agitated, you'd feel tired, you'd feel crampy, you might feel muscle weakness, you might have a headache, you might feel dizzy, you might have some irritability. I personally have never had this happen, so I'm not really sure exactly how you would feel personally, but just from looking up a keto flu and talking to other people who have had it, that's typically what you would experience. So now that you know a little bit more about it, how do you get started? How do you test this out? How do you try it? I would start with the 10 day drink ketone challenge, or I would do a five or 10 pound packet experience. So the 10 day drink ketone challenge is something that you would get from ketowithrachel.com. It comes with 20 packets. You don't get to choose what the flavors are. The flavors are already set in the box. This is a really good way to get your foot in the door, see what you think, see what you like, taste a little bit of a variety. The 10 or 5 packet ketone experience is something that I offer on my own. So this is done through my Equid account, which is ketowithrachel.equid.com. I try to stockpile on all the 
flavors that I can get my hands on, all the different formulas, so that way you have the ability to really, really customize and personalize what you actually want to try instead of it already being set for you. I personally would not want to dive in with a one flavor box and hope that I like it. I would want to test it out first and see what I like and see how I even feel on them first of all. So on my Equit account, I have listed what flavors I currently have so you can click the boxes of whatever flavors you want to try. The five packet experience would usually last seven days or more. The 10 packet ketone experience would usually last 12 days or more. Again, because you're using a half a packet a day for the first four days, I include a get started right guide and ways that you can get discounts on it. You can get 22% off your order every single month and that is with the smart ship program. It is basically just an auto ship. You can change your date, you can change your flavor, you can turn it off at any time. If you are in the smart ship program, you will get a mystery box every quarter. So this is a free box, completely free. You still get your regular ketones on top of this. You do not get to pick what the flavor is. You do not get to pick what the formula is. You do not get to pick if it's caffeine or caffeine free. It is totally random. There also is information on how to get coupons. If you email me or send me a DM, I can always make you coupons. Every single code is unique. That is why I require everyone to shoot me an email or reach out to me for a unique code because once that code is used, no one else can use it. So if I post a code, Code and someone uses it before you, you're not going to be able to use that code anymore. So what I would suggest is if you decide to stick with this, reach out to me, get a code to start out with for a discount and then turn on the smart ship so that way your first month is discounted and so is every single month after that. There also is a free product program so if you really love it and you have some of their friends or family members who love it as well and want to try it, if they decide to try it through you, you have two people who are also on smart ship, then your smart ship will be free. You just have to pay for shipping and that's not bad for a whole box of ketones. I also include a benefits card. So basically just giving you an idea of some of the benefits that you might be noticing. Just tick off the boxes as you notice them. Once you do make a purchase, you will be getting an email from myself within 24 to 48 hours. It's basically confirming your order, giving you the shipping information, and I will include a photo of your order in the packaging so you know what to look for when it arrives in the mail. So to go over some of the flavors, this is my current inventory. So this is a winter series flavor. This is palm berry, pomegranate, raspberry lemonade. This is a mainstay. Heart tart. This is also a mainstay. Tastes like sweet tarts. True passion. This is a mainstay. Passion fruit. Swiss cacao. Mainstay. Chocolate. Blueberry acai. Mainstay. Amazing. Love it. Exactly what it sounds like. Strawberry peach. Exactly what it sounds like. Also a mainstay. Splash. Mainstay. This is watermelon and grapefruit. Lime time. This is a mainstay. Just tastes like lime. Very very light and chill. Very blue, which I just had. Amazing. Maui Punch. This was the first flavor I ever tried. Just tastes like fruit punch. And then I do have a couple of the Keto Pro flavors. I actually just ordered a ton more, so I'll have more coming. But I currently have the Cookie Butter and I have the Blueberry Muffin. These are both, I think, temporary flavors right now. The Keto Pro are protein-infused ketones, so they're more of a protone. You take them exactly the same as you would the other formulas that I just showed. They are a bit stronger, so they are a bit pricier. And as far as the Mitoplex goes, these are the Electrolyx that I had mentioned. This blue one is the traditional formula. This is the traditional flavor. I don't even know what I would categorize it as. There also is this green one is Electric Lime. The yellow one is Fantastic Lemon. I really like the flavors that they added for the Mitoplex because they're really good additives for almost all the flavors. And then we have Bombastic Orange which is the orange one. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the description box or email me. My email is ketowithrachel at yahoo.com, but hopefully this gives you a good insight on what they are, how to use them, why you'd want to use them, and just the different flavors that we have. I am so thankful that we have so many different flavors now compared to four years ago. I literally had an option of three flavors. Now they come up with flavors all the time. If you are not already, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please give the video a like if you did enjoy this, if you found it helpful. Make sure that you're following me on Instagram. If you want to follow my cute dogs, they also have Instagram too. If you have any video suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. And as always, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!